Toby Young has started a free speech union. And when I heard that, I thought, great, one thing we need to fight for in the UK is freedom of speech. But sadly, it has turned from a free speech union into a free speech union because he has already failed the crucial test. I linked to an interview with Toby Young below and how perfectly clear and coherent he was throughout until he was asked about Tommy Robinson and then the stuttering and the stumbling began. But before I get on to that, let me address another point that he got well, not necessarily got wrong, but didn't explain properly, so I will. He talked about incitement to violence, and this being the only restriction on freedom of speech, and I agree with that, and the Forbidden Manifesto also agrees with that. But what does it mean to incite violence? It doesn't mean that a person, if a person reacts with violence to a stated fact, so if I say Muslims are overwhelming the vast majority in these uh, notorious rape gangs, that's a statement of fact. If someone responds with violence against Muslims because of that fact, that is not my fault. It's not because I stated a fact. They are responsible for that. To incite violence, I would have to incite violence. So if I went online and said, right, folks, this is it. We've all got to go out and beat up Muslims, kill Muslims, attack them wherever you see them. That is inciting violence. Stating a fact that a particular crime is overwhelmingly carried out by Muslims, that's not inciting violence. So let's make that part clear. But getting back to the question on Tommy Robinson, my perception of this, my opinion on this, and I draw this from years of experience, I, it's very familiar to me how he reacted when he was asked about Tommy Robinson. What he did was avoid admitting at that he is afraid to criticise Islam because that would be pretty embarrassing for a free speech activist to admit in an interview he's giving about being a free speech activist. He can't turn around and say, no, no, we're not touching Islam, I'm terrified of that. He can't say that. So what he does instead is disguise his fear as a virtue signal. And I'm not trying to insult him, I'm just very familiar with this. Uh, they, the virtue signal works like this the equivocation of sex and race with religion. It is completely and utterly false. It is a false comparison. Sex and race are nothing like religion. Now let me explain. He made the point that we won't accept criticism of a person because they happen to be a woman. I fully agree. Uh, he, we won't accept criticism of a person because of the colour of their skin. I fully agree. Then he did that virtue signal thing and threw in religion. We won't pick on people because of their religion, as if religion is the same as sex and race. And this is clever trickery uh, and it's common, but it's utter nonsense. A person, being a woman, for example, doesn't come with a guidebook from God. You're simply female a female human. You were born a female human. Being black, for example, say, doesn't come with a set of beliefs that determine who you are and determine how you're supposed to behave in this world. And this set of beliefs comes from the creator of the universe, no less. That doesn't apply to race. Black just means you were born with black skin. Woman just means you were born female. It has nothing to do with what you believe or how you see the world. Religion is a set of beliefs. It is a guidance. It is, in Islam's case, a scripture, the Quran, uh, the Hadiths, the Quran portrayed as and believed to be the final direct word of God himself, the Hadiths, the words and actions of God's representative, Muhammad. Very, very powerful stuff. If you know what those beliefs are and you choose to sign up to them, you are responsible for that. So let me give you an example. If you were to ask an atheist, should a woman be stoned to death for committing adultery? And that atheist said, of course. People would be horrified. People shouldn't be, what? We sh no stoning under any circumstances. But you can believe in it. You can say, yes, stoning is fine because my religion says so. And then everyone backs off. If you agree with stoning, whether it comes from your religion or just from your own mind, you are equally responsible for that. And that's a belief you hold, and I will criticise you for holding that belief. Just as I would criticise you for holding the belief that people who won't 
conform should be sent to gulags. I criticise that. I criticise people who think women should be stoned to death. It's the same thing. It's a belief that is held by an individual and they can and should be condemned for holding that belief. I do hope that that's clear. Uh, but religion itself, the idea of freedom of speech, has always been to criticise the powerful. And going right back to the Middle Ages, the Spanish Inquisition, the torture of, of people who refused to believe. This is where it all, the, the Enlightenment, our entire history of fighting for the liberty to speak and to criticise authority was founded and largely based in the right to criticise religious authority. The right to criticise religion is absolutely fundamental and that is the right that Toby Young has said he won't defend. So much for freedom of speech. If you actually do care about freedom of speech, there's a political party, just the one you can join. No more of this politically correct charade that pretends to be about free speech and then turns its back on the very people who are dis in who are unpersoned. Unpersoned, that's what we are. You know, people have been pointing out to Toby Young that he gets slots on television. He does. So he's not really struggling with his own freedom of speech. I've been kicked off social media. I'm a leader of a perfectly legal, fully registered political party who is denied basic services because of what I, because I criticise religion. I've never criticised race or sex. I have criticised religion and I have been cut off because of it. We've been shut down by all the major online uh, services, PayPal, Twitter, etc. I am really having my speech curtailed. I'm described as effectively a paramilitary leader in a Scottish newspaper with no right to reply. I've read articles called Who is Amory Waters? by journalists who've never spoken to me. I've had newspaper articles say that I am, I myself have admitted that I'm far right when I do absolutely the opposite. There's nothing far right about me, but I have no right of reply because I have no platform. That Toby Young is being, is having your free speech removed. I and Tommy Robinson and the issue of Islam is exactly what we need free speech for at this juncture in our history. You are turning your back on the area of, of discussion that most needs to be discussed. And you are turning your back on the people who most suffer from a lack of freedom of speech. Your free speech union, therefore, is a joke, I'm sorry to say.